YouTube, it's your girl Trinity, and I am back. I'm actually here at work, and I'm having a break in between clients. That's why I like. I keep looking around, looking at the door. Yes, my baby girl does come to work with me. When I have my oldest, she comes to work with me too. So it's been really, really busy. So this is like literally like a 10 minute break. Hey. Okay. Mm. And I'm just thanking God for this opportunity. It's been awesome. It's been amazing. Like I said, it's been busy, which is great. Cause go ahead, on girl. Doing that here. Bango artistry. All right, I'm ready. Ready? Yeah. Lord, my king, in what you hear, let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your. Okay, YouTube, so here we are. Um, right now, I am washing her hair. Um, you have to forgive the noise in the background because my kids are watching TV. But I'm washing her hair right now, and I always do um, the standard two, two shampoos and one conditioner, just depending on how dirty the client's hair is. I think she had a lot of buildup, so I washed hers a few times before um, before going ahead and styling her. But you wanna make sure that you starting off with clean hair before you make or do any style. Um, just because who, who doesn't want clean hair? But as I was watching her hair, I realized and noticed that she had some um, relaxed ends in her hair, so her hair was not fully natural. And that's what I'm pulling through my hands right now is the dead hair, basically, that's coming off. Um, Here we are, we finally at her, um, she's back in the chair. And I'm kind of speeding through this first because I want to kind of just show you guys what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. It's just really, really simple. I have a, I call it a twisting comb, but I have a twisting comb and I'm really just parting her hair about the width of the twisting comb, like the tip of the twisting comb. Very skinny parting, um, not too skinny, but just a normal size, almost like a finger tip size parting. So. Um, yeah, and then I'm just taking the comb and combing through the root of the hair, combing through the entire um, section that I'm pulling apart, and then I'm twisting, and as I'm twisting, I'm pulling it down. And I'm going to show you guys a more detailed, in-depth um, view of this in just a second. Oh, and back to the dead ends like I was telling you guys. So it's just really easy and simple. Once you have it twisted, you can really tell where the relaxed hair is still. So you just cut that off and you're good. But this is a detailed version of the shot that I had for you guys that I was going to show you. And you see I'm doing it in more of a slower um, motion. I'm doing it slow on purpose so that I can show you guys what I'm doing. But this is what I meant when I said you twist it. And as you're twisting, you're pulling it down. You're literally holding the hair and pulling it down. Um, and that gives you the comb coil effect. And you also see this in the last video I posted. So if you haven't seen that, you can see that in the last video as well. In the even closer view. Um, and it's e even more in depth, I believe, because I have some um, words that describe what to do if you're visual. Yeah, I'm just doing the same thing again. Just grabbing um, that section of hair that I just parted and pulling down as I twist. And just like that happens a few times too, where you, the comb kind of lets loose as you're twisting the hair. Girl, you got there you go. Look at him. Look. See, Vango Artistry caters to the families with the kids. You see how we have the kids section? Everything must go. Nice and neat for the low. Okay. Just remember, if you leave, you must go. 
É, é. Oh, oh. Ai, 